Hey guys, hey this is David right here at DC Case Mods and we are going to show you how to install um, radiators or radiator into your computer uh, to your computer case uh, and um, pretty much uh, it's going to be it's not really hard to do very simple you just want to uh, you know watch out for a few things that you're doing uh, to make sure that uh, you don't damage your radiators and that you install your radiators properly into your computer system all right so what we got here we have two uh, hardware labs um, radiators here there's two different sizes this here on my right hand side this is a, a 240 I mean I'm sorry it's a 280 GTX and it's a 280 GTX because it can um, hold 240 millimeter fans so kind of the way you get your sizes for your radiators you just multiply uh, the the number of fans you know times the size so say for example uh, for this one right here um, this you can fit 220 millimeter fans so this will be a 240 as you know if you were going to do um, three of the 120 millimeter fans that would be a 360 120 times 3 is 360 and um, if you're going to do uh, uh, um, 340 millimeter fans that would be a 420 millimeter and so forth so that's how you uh, calculate the sizes of your radiators and um, we've pretty much taken uh, we've taken a few things off the case we took the front panel off and uh, the top panel and the bottom just to show you kind of the uh, you know configurations you can do inside this case on the bottom they have made room here for you to put a um, a 360 radiator in here um, because you can't put a uh, you cannot put a um, 140 millimeter tight radiator in here at all because it's not wide enough actually the inside is not wide enough here so you can only put like a 120 in there a 120 um, 240 360 and so forth um, anything 140 you're not going to be able to put down here at the bottom okay now um, and like I said we're looking at this case uh, horizontally and not vertically so just uh, remember that but on the bottom and the back here you can, well, on the back here you can put another 120 I doubt you can put a 140 in there I have a 140 let me see if it will fit I doubt it will fit I don't think it will and then this is a 140 and we put it in here and it will not fit see how it goes on the outside here so again you can only put on the bottom of this case you can put a um, 120 millimeter radiator now let's check the back here now at the top looks like we're okay at the top here it looks like you can put 140 millimeter radiator or 120 millimeter radiator here so um, the, the top um, you can put and this is the back actually it's not the top but for what I'm looking at it's, it's the top rear fan you can put a 140 millimeter 140 millimeter radiator in there All right. Now, if we go to the top of the case here, on the top of the case is a very interesting design here at the top. Uh, actually, it's, it's, it's very um, easy to install your radiator. They have slots here for 140 millimeter or 120 millimeter. Um, in our case, we're going to be installing the uh, 280 millimeter radiator on top okay so when you get your radiator package come to the mail you're all happy yay yay, yay you got a radiator and um it will come with uh with these particular uh hardware labs they come with two size uh screws they have uh these small screws here and they also have these large screws that come in and give you enough for you can put a fan <laughs> um you put you know one fan on each uh each side of the radiator and uh, we have a hundred we're going to be demonstrating here these are Corsair fans they're AF this is AF 140 white LED then we have we're going to be demonstrating here there's a Corsair AF 120 white LED fan 
Now you just want to uh, make sure that you get a proper airflow in your radiators. A lot of people, or, or some people like to put fans on both sides of the radiator where they're doing a push and pull. Um, I, I, I've seen um, a lot of different uh, methods and, and, and um, ways to do it, but what works best for, for me is I see either I'm going to do a push or a pull, not both. And either I'm going to double up, where I put two fans that are pulling, or two fans that that are pushing. Um, single fans are fine, but if you want more airflow, uh, that's that's not a problem. You know, you can put two fans on there. You can even put three fans if you want on there. But we're just gonna put, you know show you how to put one fan on here and then install your radiator. Okay, now Fantex has made this really easy for us to install our um, 240 millimeter radiator here. There's a bracket that was on the bottom of the case that we took out with four easy screws so we're going to install our it'll make it easier for us to install our radiator in here and then we can install that back into our uh, computer system I mean back into our computer case here you know it is a computer system but um, <clears throat> okay so um, we that we have uh, mounted our radiator fan in the position to suck air so it's going to be a pulling um, <clears throat> method and we have the fan blades uh, well we have the fan turn in the uh, direction that it needs to go now you're going to take your long screws that of course provided to you and you're going to, just going to slide them in there and we will take a little screwdriver and we'll tighten this up And we will just continue this process all the way around. And our fan will be installed. Okay, with our fan installed, we will take our radiator and place it on top of this bracket. Um, this is the way it's designed. And we will actually use our smaller screws here on the back side of this bracket to... Um, attach our radiator to the racket. Okay, so we got it turned over here. We're going to install our smaller screw. And this bracket fits this radiator perfectly. This is a good thing. So we just screw that in there. And we continue this process. And what's neat about this little bracket is it looks like you can install uh, larger fans if you want to, 140 millimeter fans on the bottom of this. And if you actually have some, um, if you actually have a smaller fan or a, 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 a thinner fan, you could possibly install one of those thinner fans underneath to give you that push and pull of flow. Or you can, you know, put two fans underneath to, you know, get that good pushing. But like I said, we're just installing one fan in here. So, and you would go ahead and put your other screws in here as well uh, when you're mounting it. Okay, so we got everything installed. I mean, we have everything uh, hooked up to our bracket. We're just going to take our bracket and we're going to place it inside our case. Oops. And this is a really snug fit. That's good. Don't want it moving around. And boom, it's in there. So now you got your uh, bottom radiator installed here. Um, we just go ahead and tighten up our four screws for the bracket. And there you go, you're good to go. Now with this case, you do have an option of not even using this bracket. And you can throw you a, uh, a, um, a 360 radiator all the way down uh, you would just have to make sure that this uh, drive bay is out of the way we've already taken all that out I'll just to kind of show you that all right now we're going to move on to the, the top radiator okay so when installing your uh, top radiator basically we just use the same method that we used to install the bottom radiator we used the long screws to go through uh, our top panel through our fan and hook into our radiator uh, these screws are long enough to do that 
and we've already put two in just to mount the radiator and we will continue to do this process for all uh, for the other screws and on this side too okay so now that you get your radiator mounted um, you will be good to go uh, <laughs> with your water cooling and that's pretty much uh, how you mount your radiator uh, with your fans like I said you can do uh, push and pull pull and push here we're just doing a simple actually we're doing a pull system here we're pulling from the bottom and it's going up and it's still pulling from the bottom and I like to do it this way so I keep the same airflow so that the airflow that we're bringing from the from the bottom it's going to come straight up to the top and you know promote airflow under here too so we get a nice good airflow in one direction going up and then we also have our we'll have our fans in the front here that are sucking air inside so we got all this good air coming on the inside and sucking in so we can keep that good airflow in one direction also we can take these rear fans or put a rear fan here actually to bring air inside here on the bottom as well to bring air inside so we got more cool air coming in to feed um, our radiators and keep our um, our system very cool, very efficient. And um, uh, to keep on the lookout for our case giveaway that we're doing, um, it ends February 9th. Um, you can uh, check out the video on our uh, on our website www.dccasemodding.com. This is David Wright signing off. Have a good day and uh, continue modding. Peace.